right. <clears throat> All right, this one's actually one of the emptiest boxes we have because it was like the last one I packed when I started putting the boxes. So it's really like the overflows, but uh, we got a Dreamcast manual. We have a lot of game manuals, Sega Genesis uh, game, uh, Dreamcast game. This is a Genesis manual, um, F-Zero, that's for the Japanese Super Nintendo. Uh, the Game Boy Color box, which the Game Boy Color is over there. Uh, these are parts of Rob, Rob the Robot. The, the spinner, Game Boy games, that's Wonder Boy, which that's a pretty nice sought out one. Uh, another uh, game, Gear game, sorry. These are Neo Geo memory cards, and the Neo Geo's over there. Uh, TurboGrafx CD games, that's actually a CD in that one. And a Super Nintendo, King of the Monsters. Uh, more manuals, Super Nintendo manual. Atari 2600 game Combat, which is the most famous one. Uh, Sega Master System 3D game. Uh, here's uh, Nintendo's uh, Paperboy. Little Paperboy. Japanese Super Nintendo Super Mario World before it came out in the US. I wanted it. Game Gear games, Castlevania 2, the original. Here's Rob Spinner. The spinner's here, and there's more. Uh, there's more stuff down here. Uh, Tiger voice games. Those are the talking ones. Uh, this big thing here is the Neo Geo controller. We have the other one over there. Nintendo controller. Here's the American uh, Super Mario World. There's Golf, Tetris, Atari 2600 controller, Saturn controller, Atari 2600 controller. Uh, Japanese Game Gear Shinobi. So this is a good mix. It's pretty much most of them are mixed. Let's go to the next box. We have a lot to go. I'm gonna start speeding up. This was from Sega itself on their uh, hologram game Time Traveler and how it worked and the manuals. Uh, PlayStation manual. Here Fantasy Star posters. We have a bunch of Game Pros and Nintendo Power magazines. There's a uh, Game Gear still in the box. Oh, a ColecoVision. That's what you were looking for. Our ColecoVision's down here. All right, let me, let's move some stuff for you. There's a Atari 5200 connector, uh, some Genesis games down here, baseball, uh, sub attack. TurboGrafx-16 games, here's some Turbo CDs, oh, uh, game, uh, Dreamcast games, baseball, get ready to rumble, basketball, of course we have a, a Game Boy with the pouch in here, the controller, the joystick, um, and uh, for the TV that you're going to see over there, of course we have a load of Lynx games. These are all Atari Lynx. Another Tiger. Another, this is Mega Man 2 Tiger game, portable. Of course, let's, uh, I wanna get everything to close again. This is a Pong. Uh, this is a gift from Sega. They're just to hold Genesis games. Next box. Okay, and here we have Rob. This was for uh, Sega sent me this. It was a gift, and what it is, it's it's a power strip, but it has a gap. So you can put all your adapters. So when you had the Sega Genesis, the Sega CD, the 32X, each one had to have a power adapter. So you didn't have enough outlets. So they did this uh, in here. We have the Nintendo uh, Virtual Boy. In here, this is Rob. Everybody remembers Rob. Sega Saturn's Knights. This is a Jaguar uh, controller, Atari 7800 controller, Atari 2600 controller. There's a bunch of sports games down here. This here, I don't want to yank it too hard, but this is the Sega Master System 3D glasses. The glasses are down here. Here's some more Genesis games. If you look down here, Genesis controls you'll see there. Still in the wrapper. A lot of, uh, do you see that? 
the sports game still in the boxes. These are actually still wrapped, um, unopened, because I have plenty. Here's the Game Boy manuals to um, the Virtual Boy. All the Virtual Boy games that came out, we got them right here. We have, this is the Menacer, that is uh, the Zapper for the Nintendo, which was wireless. All down here, and then the rest is mostly just the power adapters and the sleeves. Oh, and here's a, a special ColecoVision um, joystick, which was used for Rocky. You can tell there's more Turbo Graphics games, Game Gear games, Castle of Illusion, Mickey Mouse. Uh, this adapter here allowed you to pay, uh, play Japanese uh, Genesis games on your American Genesis. All it did was gap it. And it works, that's included. Adapters are included, it's all included. Next. This one here is mostly all magazines. Um, the first Game Pro is in here too. Um, I have about, oh here it is. That was the first one. The first Game Pro. I have about four years of uh, magazines, also Nintendo Power. It's all in there, and uh, pretty much nothing left to say in here. Oh, and uh, Sega Vision, the only magazine Sega ever published. I have every every uh, issue. Next, this one's a nice one. This one we got the Sega Genesis Nomad, which is the portable Genesis. If you use that adapter I showed you, you can play the Japanese games with it too. <clears throat> this one here is a Japanese Sega Game Gear. You can tell because the screen, the plastic is not edged with a Sonic Chaos game. Um, down here is the illegal uh, ColecoVision Expansion 1. This allowed you to play uh, Atari 2600 games on the Coleco, Atari sued, and they had to pull them off of the market. Still in the box, still works. Atari 7800, this one's still in the wrapper. A Neo Geo Color. Portable. And uh, we have more Genesis cartridges here. Look at that, Ghostbusters. Aren't they coming out with a movie about this? Maybe I'll keep this one. No, it's for you. You keep it. It's all here. Tommy Lasorda baseball with the manuals. All the manuals are in there. What do we got here? Golden Axe. I love this game. Maybe I should keep it. No, it's for you. It's all part of the collection. Put the Game Gear, the Nomad. Look at the Game Boy Color. The box is over there. This was get ready to rumble with the rumble pack. So whenever they punch the crap out of you, it vibrates. Oh, and of course, how can I forget? Neo Geo games. There's a bunch of Neo Geo games. Leak Bowling, that one was fun. Magician Lord, that one was fantastic. Top Golf. Each one of these were $200 when they came out. But they were huge cartridges. I mean, come on. Look at the size of that thing. And this was, if you had two of them, you can play with two Neo Geos. My bad. Oh, wait, this should be like this. But, King of the Monsters, Ghost Pilot, Nam 75, Super Spy. That one's like a Doom. And there's more down there. Next. Okay. I know only half one name and halfway done. All right, of course, a lot of cables. Uh, the Intellivision Donkey Kong, which was one of the first games ported for the Intellivision. This is Snoopy. Now, this adapter allows you to play the Japanese games on the American system. Of course, I have it here. And we have here more Sega titles Sega Master System, Alex Kidd. Atari 7800, chop, uh, Choplifter, Atari 2600 cartridges. There's a bunch of Sega Master System cartridges in here. Uh, this never came out in the States. It's called the Game Axe. It's a portable NES. And it's in color. Now, let me move these games up here while I make room to show you. In the bottom, there's more artifacts down there. More cables, more plugs, more controllers. But, ready for this guy? 
an American uh, Sega Game Gear with a load of games, the power adapter, the TV adapter, all working in the battery extra pack and tons of games, Shinobi 2, Columns, Virtual Fighter, which is very sought out, a bunch of uh, uh, Sonic games and Disney games. Let's go on to the next. Ooh. Oh man, I'm dying here. <laughs> Better be worth it. All right, these are mostly Sega Saturn games. Oh, what what do I have here? Oh my gosh. For those who know, the Sega Genesis 32X Star Wars arcade game with box. Maybe I'll keep this. No, it's for YouTube. But we got a bunch of Sega Genesis game, another Game Gear in the box. If you look down there, there's a bunch of manuals. All the game manuals, even for Atari 2600 games. Um, man, I can't believe I found this. In here, we should have a bunch of Saturn games. Yeah, these are Sega Saturn games. Uh, Sonic Jam, Virtual Fighter, Street Fighter, Bomberman, Sega Rally. They're all in here. And I have the boxes for Virtual Cop, Virtual Fighter 2. And here you see more uh, Sega Saturn cartridges and well, they're mostly CDs, sports games, Sega Rally. Oh, another th Sega CD 32X game. But we got it. We got it in there. We have more manuals over here, Odyssey manuals. Another uh, Sega Genesis sports game, Sega Saturn game. These here are, um, what you see, there's a bunch of, these are Sega, an uh, Atari Jaguar uh, games. We have a bunch of those. Burnout, Defender, there's a couple more magazines down here. I pretty much use the magazines to strengthen the boxes, but Tempest for the Jaguar 64-bit system. I will admit, it fucking sucks. But, gotta have it, you know? Virtual Boy, next. Now this box oh, is really packed. All right, this was many layers. But we're gonna go at least really quick over it. Game Gears, Miss Pac-Man, still in the wrapper. 32X game still in the wrapper. Sports still in the wrapper. These are Game Gear games. We got down here. If you look down there, the stacks. Those are the Turbo Graphics games, Turbo CD games. A lot of games. Um, on the top layer, let's move this top layer off for you. We have Sega Master System games, California games. Space Harrier, that was a great one. Global Defense, Pro Wrestling, that's a classic. Wanted, Afterburner, R-Type, Wonder Boy. These are Atari 2600 games. Original Pac-Man. Um, and then of course we have Intellivision games, which is like Burger Time. Burger Time's a classic, always sought out. Golf, Space Battle, these are Intellivisions. Uh, these are um, Mega Drive Japanese uh, Genesis, uh, DJ Boy. This is ColecoVision, Rocky with the special controller. Qbert, Atari 7800, Miss Pac-Man. We have those. You can tell. See down here. There's more games. Popeye, Edition Lord, and there. There's more NES games all throughout the bottom here. Three layers of Genesis games. Over here and Sega Master Games, Marksman Shooting, Trap Shooting, Double Dragon. <laughs> now here's uh, some Famicom games. We have Altered Beast for Nintendo. That was only in Japan. What do we got here? Oh, Dreamcast games. Soul Calibur, very popular game for the Dreamcast. A lot of people like that. Shapeshifter, that's a Turbo Graphic CD, Super CD game. Fighting Streets, that was a copy of Street Fighters for NES. 
And here's Japanese um, Turbo Graphics games. And here's Adam's Family Columns, Legendary Axe. That's more Turbo Graphics games. As you can tell, if I move this, there's more down there. Just a lot more games. These are all stacked. This is like games and games. This is uh, that Seaman. You would talk to the game to keep them alive. Uh, all right, one more box. I'm gonna take a quick break. But next is uh, actually two more boxes. This is just Pong in the box, and this is a color Pong. But it was one of the first systems that actually had a gun, a rifle, and you. You would shoot it to the screen and it would uh, it would score for you. It was very revolutionary for the time. Next box, we have the Channel F. We actually have two of them here for you. Here's in the box. It was the first system to use a cartridge. And uh, here's a power pad. Everybody remembers that for Nintendo. And here's the Intellivision, which was a competitor to ColecoVision. And there are the Channel F cartridges. We have a load of cartridges. And the Pocket Station, which was a little portable uh, PlayStation little game thing that <laughs> never caught on. It was when everybody was going around with those digital pets to try to keep them alive. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll continue. Thanks. All right, we're back on this box. All right, this box pretty much is just the old classic Pongs. This is a Pong system. Here's Pong. Uh, I took a really nice picture on my Facebook page of all these systems uh, set apart. So there really isn't much to see here. The power adapters are in the box that have all the cables. Here's the Atari Pong and here's a Coleco Pong. Next box. Now, here are a bunch of manuals to the old video games. Um, this here, look at Game Boy Color, Get Ready to Rumble. Sega Master System cards, Sega Genesis games, as you can see, uh, uh, Game Gear games. This here is the Microvision. This was actually a portable uh, game system that came out just before Game Boy. These are actually the games, but um, we have two of them, and it never went anywhere. It just didn't, uh, it didn't expand. This is an Intellivision version two which was a smaller version and uh, this also was an illegal box this was an expansion box that allowed you to play on your Intellivision uh, Atari 2600 games they got sued by Atari and they had to stop but we have one we have a American uh, Super Nintendo we have two of them this is a Japanese Super Nintendo Super Famicom Lynx 1 all this was mine. I remember this is the the uh, shield to protect from the light. These are in television games. You can tell there's a bunch of them. A Nintendo Zapper, cordless Zapper. There's more games down here. The Game Boy uh, battery pack. And when you look down there, there's just uh, a Sega Master System Zapper. There's two Zappers in here. Before you were forced to have them in orange. Of course, uh, <clears throat> look at that Beauty and the Beast in television game, Master of the Universe, the power of He Man. You got He Man, tennis, auto racing. There's there's plenty of television games with the manuals right here, and just more stuff in the bottom. Next box, okay, there's the Game Axe box. For that a portable NES that never came out in the US. <clears throat> Here's the Microvision. It's a portable uh, game system that just didn't go anywhere, but there's a bunch of games for it here. We have more Pongs. Uh, this was the Studio 2 that actually used cartridges. And we have the cartridges. There's a Telestar that was only sold at Sears. And there's another Pong system. Next one. This one's a collector's item. People love it and never came out in the United States. It's the NES PCFX. Uh, this game system was built by the same people as Turbo Graphics, but it actually ran on anime. And depending, eh, dirty little Japanese anime, depending on what button you hit, 
it would actually change the frames of the cartoon. So you would see the blue hair guy like this, and you hit punch, it would go, yeah! It had a little latency, but it was very revolutionary for the time. It never came out in the US because then the PlayStation uh, had really uh, dominated in its 3D ability. So this was actually most, mostly anime cartoon based and you controlled it through it. It's called the NEA, uh, NEC PCFX. There are all the games, there's more games down here. Next is the, I stopped collecting around 2000, but someone gave me a PlayStation 2 as a payment. Um, this is a 3DO, Panasonic front loading 3DO system. Here's some more games. Here's a bunch of games. Mostly PlayStation 2 games are here. And um, the shooter, the zappers, more power adapters, the 7800 controller. This was for the Dreamcast. Now this here may sound funny, but all these are Atari 7800 adapters. Believe it or not, these are really hard to find. People would pay up to $50 to $80 for these. There are 10 of them in here. You can still, till today, go on um, go on eBay and put uh, it's 1978, no, Atari 7800 power adapter, and you will find people still um, paying good dollars. And these are brand new from factory. It was I bought it from a company who bought like the last supplies Atari had left. And um, there's 10 of them. Do whatever you wish with them. Next box. Next box is pretty much just all the the power controllers, the wires. They're all. Uh, I started organizing them. This is for the Frogman or the Seaman, where you talk. It's like, all right, go to sleep. Uh, this is the satellite. This is for NES. It allowed you to have four controllers, so you can play four-player games, but battery-operated, so you can sit at the at the couch. This allowed you the, the TurboGrafx-16 to have five controllers. Um, here's another one of those illegal converters. Super Famicom controllers, TurboGrafx-16 controllers. Uh, this is a generic uh, Sega Saturn controller. These are mostly all the power adapters, the zappers, the controllers. Um, there's games in here, but very, very few. Just some that I've tossed in here. If you look down there, these are all pretty much uh, your TV adapters. There's your Game Gear controller, Game Gear covers, that Sega Genesis side cover. Um, Epson controller, well that's an Epson power adapter. Another Game Gear TV adapter. You know, some things I have doubles of, which is a plus for you. And in the, there's just a lot more controllers in there. I'm not going to pull this stuff out. But you get the drift. Next one. All right, this is my old Sega Master System. It's a bit dirty and it cracked, but not to worry because we have another one. But um, this was before I had it in the box. It got dirty, but it just needs cleaning. But we got a Sega Master System, a 32X. Oh, there's the other Sega Master. See, it's nice and clean. 32X Sega Genesis with the Sega CD. The ColecoVision adapter, that this is what allowed you to play Atari 2600 games. Atari 7800, that plays Atari 2600 games. Another Sega CD. And this is the Turbo Express with the TV adapter. This is a portable TurboGrafx-16. Um, in the movie Enemy of the State, they used one of these as a prop. And uh, Devil's Crush, I love that game. Unfortunately, the TV adapters are no longer usable in the United States ever since we've gotten digital. But it's still a nice collector's item. Next box. You're going to love this one. All right, we have another Super Famicom. This one's gotten yellow, but the other one hasn't. Another Sega Genesis with Sega CD, but this one's converted to play Japanese games. So whatever games you put in that one, actually the one that doesn't have this, you put the game in and it plays it in Japanese mode. Super NES, self-explanatory. The Sega Genesis converter to play the Sega games and the Sega cards. A Sega Saturn, a Sega Dreamcast, another Game Boy with a pouch, an Atari Jaguar, 
and a Neo Geo. Yes, sir. And you saw the games uh, earlier. Wait, was this? this? There we go. Because I want the boxes to close. Next box. Okay. More goodies. Look at that. An Apple II original manual. This is the PC Engine Japanese uh, Super Graphics. Never came out in the United States because we all went to CD. This was what Super Graphics, well, the Turbo Graphics 16 was going to become. I have games for it. This is an Atari 5200 original and a Timex personal computer. Here's another uh, Game Gear. This is an American Game Gear. More games and a Tiger Talk Paperboy. The reason I had that personal computer in there is because it actually had, it came with games like Pac Man and stuff. Next. All right, this box here is uh, more games. This is two layers of uh, NES games down here. We got Castlevania, who doesn't love Castlevania? Narc, Bart, Mega Man 3, the Game Genie, the cheating game system um, with the manual. The manual is over there. As you can tell over here, we have, uh, this was a sample Nights before Nights came out. For Sega Saturn. Um, this cartridge still sealed has 52 games. Here's Street Fighter for Sega Saturn. These down here are original Genesis games. These are all Genesis games down here to uh, double layer. Um, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, um, Atari 2600. Uh, this was to play Japanese games on the American uh, NES. Even gave it some length. Um, and of course here's uh, Legend of Zelda 1, Legend of Zelda 2, and I also had the box for it. Okay. And we have it all here. Oh, the light goes on and off. Uh, aerobics games, Mega Man 2, look at that, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Karate Chop, Contra, remember Contra? Who doesn't remember Contra? punch out this punch out was right when mike tyson lost they pulled his contract they renamed it and they painted the black character white and they got rid of mike tyson so of course i bought it but mike tyson punch out is there too and you see it's practically the same robocop this is one of my first nes games so as you can tell it's just more games it's just box of games all right next this here um, it's missing the the front cover, but it's in the box over there This was a special edition shark TV that had a built-in NES It came with the black controllers, which I do have the nice thing is the gap between here is the same size as the original NES So all accessories fit The TV works. It's a, a 19 inch sharp uh, It is dirty because I've had it in storage, but it is cleanable with a simple wipe on top I have, with special edition box, the Odyssey by Magnavox. This is the first consumer video game system. Um, some of the stuff are still wrapped. And um, pretty much a dot would appear on the screen. You would tape the silk screens on your television screen. And once you ran out of dices, you counted who had the most dices and that's how you won. Special edition uh, box. They didn't make a lot of those. Still in good condition, just needs a little cleaning. <sighs> Next, we have a TurboGrafx 16 with the Turbo CD adapter. Got a game. This here, so you can play the Japanese uh, Turbo games, what's called PC Engine. You put it here, you put it here, and uh, you played it. Now this was the first system to have a, uh, a CD. So you can actually, um, you are actually able to pop this system out and use it as a CD player, but you had to have it plugged in. It wasn't battery operated. And um, the case was special edition when it first came out. That's included. All right, next one. We're almost done guys, six more boxes. 
This one here is just full of pongs. Pong, 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 another pong, another pong, super pong, Atari pong. All right, next box. This one is slammed with games. Uh, Sega Master games, Sega 3D games, Wonder Boy, as you can see in the bottom. But these are mostly in the boxes. And um, look at that, Spider-Man, uh, Sega Genesis, uh, Sega Master System, Nintendo. And it just goes layer by layer. There's just plenty of games here. These are mostly boxed. Um, honestly, I'll say maybe 10% have games in them. The rest are in the other boxes. But see, even down there, Rambo 3 and Sector X. This was, look at that, Thunderblade. That one was good. People like that one. And people love this. Fantasy Star 3. I have part 1 and 2. We have them in here. Part 1 was in the Sega Master System. Alright guys, I'm getting exhausted, but don't worry, come on, let's finish. Okay, in here we have the Game Boy printer, a Lynx 2, still in the box, another Lynx 1 with a battery pack, the Virtual Boy controller, a bunch more Virtual Boy uh, color games, more Nintendo games, NES games, since we had so many of those, they're all scattered. Super Mario 3, Kirby's Adventure on NES, when Super Nintendo already had one. More Game Boy Color games. This is 52 Nintendo games in one. More Scrabble. Another uh, Sega uh, Game Gear. The other Supervision. Well, Supervision is like the... Alright, we have to switch to my phone. My video camera actually ran out of tape. So let's do this quick. This one's Supervision, it's like the Microvision. Uh, remember TigersGame.com, we have a bunch of those games in here too. And a Game.com system down there. Um, and then we got popular, the Supervision. We have practically every game that came out for it. These are the cartridges. Um, they were very cheesy. And the system sucked. But uh, you gotta have it, if you gotta have it. All right, next one is uh, the magazines is just a filler, but it's more cartridges. Uh, mostly Sega Genesis on this one. Uh, Sega Genesis games, as you can see. Uh, Altered Beast, Golden Axe box. Um, oh, here's Sega Master games. See down there, we have more games. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Goonies, Goonies for Nintendo, remember that? We have it all down there, Tasmania put this this is just so the box doesn't get crushed when we stack them next one we're near the end folks we're near the end all right this is the wireless adapter for the nes and the satellite here's to play multiple players on uh the sega saturn here um this is a japanese uh, mega drive batman of uh, the 1989 batman I have the game in the box, plays well. This is the NES 4 score. The other um, Neo Geo cartridge, no, the Neo Geo controller. Sega arcade controller, another NES zapper. And uh, of course we got more manuals. Here's uh, game manuals for all this stuff. Hook, of course more cartridges, more games, especially NES, uh, uh, Sega cards are here this is uh the super graphics that never came out in the u.s this is actually ghouls and ghosts which is ghosts and goblins and you see the games are in there um we have a bunch of those games there's a legend of zelda box with the manual another Lynx game still in the box and uh another nintendo well um uh, turbo graphics game down there next box a television manual now this one is very full jam-packed multi layers of games but mostly more the classics here's a turbo um, Atari 2600 and television 7800 this is a multi game uh, for a uh, PlayStation all the classics Atari 2600 cartridges NES games more 
manuals. Here's a Atari uh, 7800 2600 Top Gun for NES. Uh, Telegames, that was the name that uh, Atari would use at Sears. But television games, look at this. We have Atari 2600 games down here, still in the wrapper. And there's more. There's more systems down here. Uh, but mostly all Pong and old Atari cartridge systems. Laser Blaster. Blackout. Did we see the Atari 2600? I don't recall seeing it. But I know I have it. I believe it's in the bottom. It's in the bottom of this one. We have an Atari 2600. Yeah, because all the controllers. Roger. This is what you guys got to play when you pick up this, all these items. The Atari 2600 system 6 button is down here. It's wrapped in the bottom. Yeah, here's the adapters. Alright, the last box. I wish I could pull the rest out, but yeah, trust me when I tell you 2600 is there. Last box. This one I've shown in my video. These are still, these are just Pongs. Old Pong's another Channel F, a Pong system, a Color Pong, an Odyssey 200 box. There's another Pong in here. That's an Action Max. That one worked on VHS tapes. And this box is included. So, take a zoom. This is uh, the whole collection for you, brother. Whoever buys it, including this big one. I hope you enjoyed introduction i'll get this video all edited together for everybody who's interested but i can't give you any more details i'm not going in one by one there are thousands of items in here but um any questions you have put it in the bottom thank you for watching and thank my sorry gang i forgot about this one more this is the vis it was uh, before the phillips uh, pc um no cdi or the cd interactive it was called the VIS, uh, Video Information System. Comes with all the CDs. I have a, another video about it. And there's the controller. Um, I don't have this one in a crate because it's actually bigger than the width of a crate. But this is also included. Alright guys, thanks.